Every day, the Gazette and newspapers across the world print wuzzles, word puzzles created by Tom Underwood. The puzzles tell a story, like this one. Can you solve that first one? What is this puzzle trying to tell me? Raising salaries. Well, now that makes sense. Did you know that wuzzles got their start in the Gazette? Curious eye when Amy Foster did, and she wanted to know whether Tom Underwood was still living in Cedar Rapids and creating the wuzzles that she solves every day. We visited Tom at his Cedar Rapids home to find the answer. This is Tom Underwood, also known as Tom Ecker. Back in the 70s, when Ecker started making wuzzles, he was working as the athletic director for the Cedar Rapids School District. At the time, I was working for a superintendent who did not uh, appreciate moonlighting. He said, no moonlighting. And of course, here I was doing these puzzles. So um, I had to figure out some way to moonlight without letting him know it. And so I changed my name to Tom Underwood. And the reason I picked Tom Underwood was because I could remember Tom. <laughs> and the Underwood part was also a, a puzzle. Tom Underwood. Acker creates his wuzzles by hand. You've got basic concepts, in, on, over, under, so forth. And there were, turned out there were over 500 concepts. Again, against, ahead of, alone. These are all different concepts. I've got endless and here, for example. And and has probably 12 different ones there. And I've got odds and ends. Over extends, over extends. Then Ecker mixes up the concepts on a schedule. He also creates crypto quote. Ecker has created thousands of wuzzles over the years, and every year he makes 780 more. And it's not easy, but it's fun. I have a brother who's a computer genius, and he, he can write any kind of program. And when he saw the way I was doing this, he said, I can't do it. Do you think you'll ever stop doing muzzles? When I croak. He won't retire, but when he dies, tell him what you think will happen then after. After I croak, I think the <laughs> syndicate probably will somehow take it over because it's too popular. Ecker predicts that the King Feature Syndicate will reprint past wuzzles, and they have more than enough material to do that. We've got a file cabinet in there that is literally stuffed with these, top and bottom. It's just a little file cabinet. Speaking of syndicates, he told us this story about a North America syndicate party in New York City. And uh, I don't think they do it anymore, but they used to hold it at the Waldorf Astoria, and it was a big deal. Uh, the... Uh, cartoonists, famous cartoonists. All, yeah, all the cartoonists, and what I did one year was I took a sketch pad with all the blank pages in it and I went to all the cartoonists and asked them if they would do a, a cartoon specifically for my grandson and they all did. He had himself a treasure trove. Wuzzles are just a small part of Ecker's life and if you're interested in reading more of his stories, in 2020 he published Wherever I Choose, an autobiography. There you can read his famous hitchhiking story, which was an incredible weekend trip he took while he was a student at the University of Iowa. You can also hear all of his stories from his time in Sweden, working in track and field, and you can hear about the Olympic Games he's been to. Reporting from Cedar Rapids for the Gazette, I'm Bailey Chihan. Do you have a question for Curious Iowa? We want to hear it. Submit to curiousiowa at thegazette.com slash curious. 